talking about that shooting slump ain't real, man. This is this dude's third shot in a row he missed, bruh. And then he gonna get a wide open shot right there, uncontested. He can't hit it because of the shooting slump. It is what it is, and he been timing it the same way. But I digress. But then I'm calm, but the temperament but strong when I pencil him. Phone steady, jumping, screaming calls like I'm pipping. Bricks got everybody tapping in, but you've been kept it solid. When you look me in the eyes, subtle tell I know you got it. When you do the sauce, make me want it. I like card, caught me looking at it like the bullseye of the target. Though. Good morning, I did 2K land man. Check this out, man. New camera, who this in the big. I say in the building. <laughs> we got that. We got the new uh, the Elgato face cam. We're getting the Elgato face cam pro. It will be here uh, pretty soon. We're going to see what the difference between those is. I think I fixed the issue with it freezing up. But hey, I guess y'all really didn't care because on yesterday, y'all went absolutely hamburger. Not on this one. This is the big, bigs video, um, you know, for seven, you know, 610 and up and whatever. And that's really with an 83 mid or whatever. We got to change that, man. That video has legs and it knows how to use them. But the one that y'all went ham on was the one where the thing froze. Maybe I need to freeze the camera every day. 16,000 views, 221 uh, comments, and 1.1 thousand likes y'all already know that means somebody's getting that goat status goat status go goat status goat status go but if you don't want to wait to get your goat status man make sure you hit up the site man hit get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees we got y'all boys taken care of over there man link is down in the description got tons of stuff over there man we got some colorado eat sleep 2k retreat uh repeat uh you know anime repeat you know just that stuff like that you can even uh upload your own shirts hats all this stuff man and some stuff for the ladies too man so check that out link is down in the description but the people that came through and show all the love we always gonna put y'all on the noty game wall of fame man anybody that come through and show your boy some love yes sir good morning brother another banker you already know dude said i don't care anything about i don't care about anything but the input lag because i can't time my shots hey yo he says uh so Jay face freeze midway yeah it did man y'all already know what it was man but i'm cool with that man and the top comment from yesterday was this he says, I've definitely played against a couple of Zens in the wreck. I never question, uh, I never question open shots because they're easy to make. But when someone is greening 30% contested shots consistently is the key, is the key word, consistently, as well as greening crazy moving shots, then it becomes obvious what they're doing. And we had a, actually we actually had a guy yesterday that was in the wreck. Um, and I really feel like he was doing something sensational because what he would do is i'm not i don't care about the fact that he was he was shooting middies but he would run into the paint and get get uh get switched on to the center and then he would sprint out of the paint and do the backwards fade you know what i'm saying like that he greened every single one of them didn't even miss one even when we contested him he hit a couple but most of the time when we contested it uh you know he missed it man so i definitely understand the frustration especially when some of us are having issues with shooting and then you got other people that are taking the flat out shortcut because one person in the comment section said hey man um you know my partner got us in and uh, i don't blame him because it's 2k fault for making it hard for shooting i was like what hey that's what people think man so if that's what they think hey we'll figure it out but it's, it's not 2k's fault for making it hard for shooting it's, it's 2k's fault for listening to the community and coming back with that consistent shot timing so that they can use these ends man but that's not that's all beside the point man and out of the way because we about to get the video underway so yes so what's going on everybody it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town coming to you live with another video man i think y'all like it like this better so we're gonna do it like this hey quavo quavo my boy quavius young says i I thought this was y'all year hey man i said listen it is for me i can't speak for everybody else but this is literally the best year i've ever had on this joint a lot of the people saying that we still locked in we still doing our thing man this is the best year i've ever had on 2k and I, it's all thanks to you guys man keeping keeping us in the game keeping the engagement up keeping those likes up we always got to get 200 likes before we get to 1500 views so the video can get in the algorithm and go to the moon alice and then also like like i said i asked y'all yesterday i said okay can we get 300 likes before we get to 1500 views y'all did it and y'all see what happened we end up with over a thousand likes and we end up with with uh what, what was that Sixteen thousand views or something like that uh yeah sixteen thousand views man y'all don't understand how that helps the channel and helps y'all a lot man so let's see if we can do that again let's get 300 likes before we get to 1500 views man if you're watching that joint like it right now and see what's going, going on man up next my boy downward i think i actually do like this with me in front of the the tweet but it is what it is my boy downward says uh somebody asked uh, they told him, they said, Sheesh, 
I wish I could dribble like that. Only reason I don't uh, play point is because my dribbling uh, is, is simple and weak. Downwork says, I don't believe that you have to be a good dribbler uh, to be a good point. I heard someone say that, say you have to, uh, you have to have good, that the good dribblers have good ball handlers. Uh, you just have to be a good ball handler, right? You don't have to be a good dribbler. You just need to be a good ball handler. He says, uh, know how to protect the ball and how and how and where you need to get on the court to make things happen. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I just left stick around. <laughs> without turbo and make plays to be honest and you can definitely do that in this game you can just left stick around and uh that's that's the hardest move in the game the guard is the left stick uh he says i just left stick around the game and make plays to be honest people think that uh i don't know what i'm doing until until it results in a bucket dribbling is a nice skill uh skill to have and can definitely help you create but i don't think it's necessarily uh, it's a necessity more about iq for sure and i absolutely agree with that man a lot of people think that you got to be the dribbling but listen man if you know how to get your kills in and you know how to uh attack and when to attack and what to do i think you'd be a, uh, be just fine at the point guard my boy man the, the point guards i play with brute t man man uh even mad like they really they may do stuff like you see mad right here doing stuff to set up this but bro he just kill and go to the ring look look that's a kill right there very simple hit me tray ball bang you see you see what i'm saying it's super simple what he does sometimes like he'll he might set you up the previous play with something like this but right here he's just gonna take exactly what you give him you gave me the hope you give me the rim i'm going to the rim run out stop pass it to my guy wide open and boom like so like that those are the things that you got to be be able to do as a point it's not really the dribble guy stuff they, they make that be a myth and maybe that's they, maybe they want it to seem like it's a it's a huge gateway or something to it but yeah you don't need all of that up next am i hitting the right button we got that boy asian zero says hey uh uncle demi says my man my man asian said it uh best after a viewer said that he was trash uh this was his response we're just gonna go straight to the response man y'all know what it is your ass Bro, do you know that like in good games you could be bad and still have fun? Bro, why do why do you feel like you played at a game to have fun? Bro, I fucking suck, but I have a marvelous time. Hey, I, I can't. I gotta try me? to edit. Like, why are you acting like to be a professional semi pro? Anyway, more or less what he was saying was he's like, well, let's let's let automatic like aim bot ass nigga to have the video game. It's impossible, bro. Some of you niggas is like games, bro. If you're not like competing in the pro league, like you're not having fun, bro. That's not me, bro. That's Hey, and he said that's not him, and that's not him now, and all of that good stuff. I definitely agree with him on that. Um, like, like, like Uncle Demi said, you know, you got you got different types of uh, people. You got the educational, you got the uh, entertaining, and then you got comp. I, I, I just know I'm just entertaining, man. And then I bring y'all some information in an entertaining way. That's what I do. But a lot of see, this is my thing with it though. When he started out, like, like everybody, like, okay, so Agent was never he never himself said he was comp. But a lot of people thought he was comp, and uh, he definitely leaned into that because, you know, you, everybody put out the videos, best sharpshooter. You know, he was dropping 100 in the wreck. He was playing uh, Pro-Am with Swante, you know what I'm saying? But then he was being cynical, like I'm the best corner sitter, best hash guy, you know, all of that good stuff. And uh, so so it, it's just one of them things where it's like, you don't, you might not think that you're that guy, but the guys that watch you, they do think you're that guy. Like uh, a lot, a lot of times, people was, was asking, like, you know, why he wasn't in the, uh, why he didn't try to go pro, or why he wasn't in the pro league, or why Duke Dennis wasn't trying to go pro, or why he don't play comp, or you know, in the comp league, because you're the best stretch big stuff like that. They're saying Grind was the best, uh, you know, one of the best stretches, one of the best guards and stuff. But a lot of times, it's the, it's the, per, it's not that you're saying that you're good. It's the perception that you are, that you, you know, via the YouTube video that, that you know, people are the greatest, man. And it's just one of those things where the, the line gets blurry, but uh, even even right here, you know, we're gonna talk about EJ when he's talking about some people don't see the bigger picture. More or less what he was talking about is, and I'm not playing this one because I'm not editing this video and he was, he was just going a little too ham with the uh, language, but he was just saying a lot of people still don't get it. He can get out there and be a 40 win percent and do this, this and that. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all, at one time in 2K20, they were saying EJ was the best guard. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what his um his constituents thought. And so it doesn't matter if the community thinks more or less, I guess what I'm saying is it don't matter how good the community thinks you are, as long as your constituents believe that you're good enough to watch and um and and that you're uh you know you're entertaining, that's all that really matters. But I'm saying that, but I'm also saying that at one point a lot of people were saying that those guys, you know, were at the top of the profession. It's like, bro, we got a whole NBA 2K Pro League, bro. Like, like we know who's at the top, but the best to, to, to their point, 
the best people that play the game are the pros and these guys earn or earn and and draw significantly more than those guys so i think it's probably more important to be entertaining than it is to be good like y'all mine always makes the point to let y'all know what you want you want 100k in the stage or you want 100k in real life because you can do 100k in real life by by the perception that you're really good versus you know i'm just gonna be on this i'm gonna be on this bitch sweating all day and and try to be the best but there is definitely room for those who sweat too. And uh, you know, like I said, the 2K League is probably more popular than ever and all that good stuff, man. Y'all talking about that shooting slump ain't real, man. This is this dude's third shot in a row he missed, bruh. And then he gonna get a wide open shot right there uncontested. He can't hit it because of the shooting slump. It is what it is. And he been timing it the same way, but I digress. But yeah, so like, like yeah, it's not about being good. It's that perception. You just get that perception, do your thing. And then as long as your constituents think you're good or you know you're a top player, that's all that really matters, man. Up next, hey, they asking Baluba. He said, hey, Baluba, can you take a look at this, please? I believe that this is needle thread or badge. Uh, I was, I was, um, I was on a pretty good pace to close out on the shooter, <laughs> shooter and then he just freezes. Uh, I don't know what happened right here. So we just gonna go to the big screen and uh, we gonna see what happened right here. This happens a lot too, man. Like we'll be trying to, you'll be trying to defend somebody or do something like that. And then like, you just can't get there. You, you can't get there. And I'm gonna tell you what happens. The arrow switches this year way faster than it did in other years, right? Or who you're actually defending. Uh, the, who the game recognizes you're defending, it does it very quickly. Right here, it thinks that you're trying to step to him. Once he makes this pass, you're dead. There's absolutely no way that you can get out there. Sometimes you can jump, but jumping is really gonna be the only way that you can get out there, especially if, you, if you're not that fast. Um, and then, so Mike definitely responded uh, so we had a couple of people say, say it looks like it looks like it's a proper animation to prevent people from thinking that they can run around and recover fast. I say keep it in. I say keep it in. It makes defenders play more honest. I can't get mad at that. Then Mike says it is intentional so you can't guard multiple positions uh, simultaneously. That's more or less what Mike is saying. For that one, like I said, I don't care about that part, but the fact that they can also, they can circumvent that system by jumping and then they get like a 90, a 99% contest when they told us that people weren't going to be able to do that this year, that bothers me a little bit, man. Hey, it is what it is. Up next, Johnny Bridge Fourth. He just says, hey, man, this happens to me a lot. Can you clarify? More or less what they're talking about, man, is, is uh, why you got to have 99 ball handling just to catch a pass. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he goes down. Well, not even, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to tell you why that happened right there. Like, I, at first I was with it, but now I'm not with it, bro. You ain't got enough post. He probably don't have enough post control on that bill, bro. That happens to me because I don't have enough post control. You will get the move because you got the strength and all of that, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna uh, be able to be successful with it because you don't. My biggest problem is why when somebody throws me a pass, sometimes I catch it and just throw it out of bounds or what have you. I looked at that one wrong. I probably should have looked at it a little bit better. Up next, hey, most comp mode in 2K. And that's what uh, JAC says, uh, Thanks to everyone in in here in Starter trying to get rep easily. And then my guy says, man, listen, man. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. Hey, they, they say we out there trying to get that rep easily. And then uh, Ev says, this is this is Ev right here. Here we go. Okay, okay, I'll say, I'll say, okay. Now we got it right. Now Ev says, yeah, it is the easiest way to okay, rep up. He says, Everything is sweet. So they say it's the fastest way to wrap up, you know, the 5v5 starting mode. But he says, everything is sweet until you're up 40, drop 70 on your opponent, and then they quit with a minute left. And then you realize that you wasted 20 minutes just to get absolutely no type of rep or progression. Now, that's something that they definitely gonna have to fix in the game, man, because people are quitting. People figured out how to quit um, without getting banned for 30 minutes. I know how to do it. I'm not telling y'all how to do it, but I definitely figured it out myself. I tested it. And uh, a lot of times you can really just quit the game without getting any type of uh, any type of repercussions if you do it a certain way in a specific pattern. But I ain't telling y'all how to do that, man, because I don't want y'all quitting um, because I need y'all in the game so y'all can get your ass whooped by me and my constituents. Up next, hey, we got that boy, uh, Badgy Plug. He said, he said, Biggs, uh, this is something that we heard about the theater. He said, bigs are playing bigs and guards are playing guards in the 1v1 theater. And then, so Badger Plug, he said, hey, he said, my boy, my boy says that guards are playing guards and, you know, in the 1v1 theater now, bigs versus big. He thinks that it's determined by the height 
uh i've seen a lot of people asking for this and so it looks like 2k listen to us on that uh for, for my boy t i don't think that would matter because he's got a 6 8 so i really don't think it would matter for him but uh you know for some people it would and last but not least we got that boy tacino embracing his old name of fracino and he just said look look here man let's listen to him listen to him Yo, talk. you guys want to see me headed a no take chat who said my clips to take over only bro you guys are haters, bro. Pray ball. Bang! You guys are haters, bro. Who said it's takeover only, motherfucker? Come on. Hey, man. He said, he said, this is not takeover only, man. And then he came back and he just said, hey, for context, uh, FYI, this shot always has a green has a green window. Uh, FYI, this shot has a, always has a green window. I'm pretty sure. I've hit it consecutively without takeover, but it is incredibly small, probably five milliseconds or less. It would be idiotic. For me uh, to attempt it frequently, human error and all that. And so that's what I'm saying, man. Like a lot of this stuff you can do, man, but a lot of this stuff you can't do. You're not going to be able to do it consistently. You can do it, but you're not going to be able to do it consistently. And that's what he's saying. That's why when when he was playing those guys that had the 70, um, the 70 shot percentage and stuff, I just kept saying what I was saying, man. I was saying sensational because it's no way that you're going to consistently hit those shots over the course of 575 games only lose one and you're shooting those against guys that are right there on top of your feet contested at all it just ain't no way bro so like like my boy bill said hey man them dudes was in and i don't care what nobody say and i agree with it but yeah tacino he missed way too like i'm not and this is not a shot or anything disrespectful tacino missed way too much for him to be zen it just is what it is. If he is, he got the worst zen in the world. I'm just gonna tell y'all like that. He misses way too much to be zenning. But he's uh he's like uh he's like uh Brett Favre, the riverboat gambler, man. He gonna roll the dice and he gonna do his thing, man. He does this thing in in the interest of being entertaining. So it is what it is. And about that, and about the starting five, man, yeah, people definitely quit. And uh brute, I almost uh killed our friendship yesterday because I told him you can get rep and stuff in there. That joker went in there and said, Jay, this is the worst experience I had in 2K. People keep quitting. I'm not getting any rep. I'm blasting them, blowing them out. All they doing is uh cheesing. It's on extra rookie, just in case y'all wanted to know. So people just shooting in the computer face, they're shooting every time they touch the ball. They are zenning in there, and then they just don't send you a message when you beat them, like, dude, was like, bro, why you spam? I'm like, do you understand what spamming is? Spamming is when I keep hitting the button. I'm hitting the button one time and taking the ball from you, big dog. Like, you're just trash. It is what it is. Then they got the nerve to send messages. I beat that dude by 40. And uh, it's like, because he kept doing the same move over and over. And I was like, all right, man, you keep doing the same move. I can't stop and I'm going to steal it, man. So it is what it is. And like I said, they take the steals from us. I don't know in a lot of situations what we're going to do. But hey, it, it, you will just be at the mercy of everybody. Mike, hold firm. Make them dudes be scared. They need to keep getting the ball stolen if they keep sizing up. But let's just take out the ones where it uh, morphs you into other stuff, man. Anyway. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Like I said, get your tees in the breeze. When you're rocking with breeze tees, go by there. And, uh, you know, somebody is going to get that goat status, goat status, goat, goat status, goat status, goat. We got that for y'all, man. Love each and every last one of y'all. Make sure y'all like the video. Let's get the 300 likes before we get to uh, 13 or uh, 1,500 views and get this thing going to the moon, Alice. And I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, VK, the People's Champ. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.